Happy Sunday guys, welcome back to a brand new YouTube episode. This is episode 7 to the road to 800. We're at Ironside once again. And uh, yeah, we got some deadlifts. It's week one. Um, yeah guys, get this video to 500 likes and I will commit to posting twice a week now. So get this video right now. Like this video if you want me to start posting twice a week. Once on Sunday and maybe mid middle of the week. But yeah, let's get straight to it. Deadlifts feel good. I'm gonna start warming up and hit the weights. Let's go. Kilos versus pounds, bro. 470 kilos? 474, but there's nothing next to it. That guy's just too strong. God damn. All right, guys, so we just took 600 for a triple. No belt, felt good. I think that's a PR for no belt on the same bar. And then we took my first back down set, which was 551 for a set of five. Still felt good. Week one shit, you know. You gotta just make those reps look easy and clean. Um, I got like pauses now. And uh, I've really been enjoying the pauses. The pauses really what like helped me like craft my tip bar deadlift. As you know, guys, I come from a deadlift bar background. And uh, now that I'm working on the step bar, I can see like what people say when it's like, you gotta have your feet a little bit more narrow. You, you might have to have your grip a little bit more wide so you can maintain that position. I tried to apply the same cues I had for the deadlift bar, which was being super wide with my feet, super open, and my grip in. And I was always dumping forward, like my shoulders was dumping above the bar. And now that I brought my feet a little bit more in, I backed up a little bit by like an inch. Yeah, like three quarters of an inch. And my grip, instead of being here, I'm more wide, but I can feel my back. I can feel, maintain that wedge. Feels good. You should definitely try it out. If you're struggling with deadlift bars and you want to be good at stiff, just try to back up. Bring your stance, not, not, not necessarily wider, but more narrow. Like your feet, instead of being here, try to bring your heels, or your toe in. But you, can, you maintain that heel position always. And uh, grip, a little bit wider. It'll do the whole difference for you, for sure. Take your time, feel your wedge, and pause as low as you can. If you pause high, you're cheating. So right here. Yeah, that's good. Yep. Yep. Easy. Good. That was set one. Let's go. Oh yeah. Oh. Ooh. That was clean, bro. That was clean. So. 
I've had the people in the comments asking me what are my favorite upper back movements or accessories for deadlift. I'm about to show you that right now, so let's do it. So, there we go. Well, it's on the bar, okay. I'm about to use light wedges to show you. So, the, the majority of the people, when they do lat pull downs, they're gonna pull in a straight line with their chest high. It's very good for the width of your back, that's good. But if you want more upper back, like right here at the upper shelf, you're gonna have to lean and roll towards your shoulder. So instead of being right here and pull straight down, that's, that's all width right here. All lats and width. If you want more upper back, you lean back right here and you pull towards, basically towards your mouth kind of. And you'll feel in your real delts and your upper. I like have literally, uh, with very light weight, I'll feel it right here. So again, you're not gonna pull right here. Instead, you ba lean back and pull towards your nose. Boom. There you go. So now we're actually gonna put some decent weight on the bar. And I've been doing that for a few months now and it really helps me, you know, growing the, the width and the mass, so like the size of the back. So boom, wow, here you go. Lean, pull towards your nose. I mean, feels good. We're gonna do three sets here, and then I'm adding a T-bar row today because I want to really work on my mid-back and upper back. So T-bar row is a great, it's gonna be the same concept really. Try to pull uh, with your elbows kind of flared so you hit the rear delt and the upper erectors. And then after that, we'll do a little bit of back extensions a little bit of arms, and it's a wrap. Easy day, guys, easy day. Woo! Come on. Here, I lean, I maintain that, and I pull towards my nose. Bah! 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 Oh, I feel it so good. It feels so good. Pause! Bah. Woo! Yep, yep. So it's week one for me. When it comes to accessories, I have the same like approach than my compound lifts. I go, I build them up. So week one will probably be RP67. And by week four, I'll be around, I'll be around RP8 or nine, but I don't push my uh, belt squat because last block I pushed my belt squat, dude. It took everything out of me. So this time, coach and I, we were like, okay, belt squat was probably gonna be RP8 on week four, and one less, one less set, so I can feel better. Yeah, less set, come on. Yep, lean, maintain that, pull towards the nose, there you go. Uh. Tiffany on you, you kill somebody if you have problems. Yes. That was good. One more set. It's lead.
When you come home, let's attach my wife. I'm pulling on the Alright, so there's somebody on the hyperextension. We're just gonna wait for him to be done. So we can keep going. We'll actually do my bicep curls now since he's on it. Okay, now on each side, I might start like this. Just trying to go those baby biceps, bro. Alright, let's get a little physical physic update. Alright guys, we're done. That was an amazing training week one. Drop a like. 500 likes this video and I'll post twice a week. Guaranteed, I promise you. See you next week. Peace.